Hi, this is Yok Wong with PianoMother.com. Today, I'd like to share with you a specific topic, how to improve your piano playing. This is actually a broad topic. In order to figure out what are some of the things that you can do to improve your playing, we first need to find out what are some of the challenges that we all face. As piano players, there are a lot of things going on when we play piano. Those include your coordinations, your music rhythm, and your rhythm, as well as many other areas. And we're going to look at each of them and see what we can do to remove those barriers. And this will help improve your playing. Now, believe it or not, the number one challenge for all players, now this are done by survey. I, I've done it survey on an annual basis and the number one challenge that people tell me is a lack of time to practice now think about this if you don't have time to practice it's very hard to improve your playing no matter how smart you are no matter how coordinated you are or how how musical inclined you are but if you lack of time you don't have time to practice your playing would not improve significantly so that's the number one challenge that we all face with. And later on, I will talk about what you can do to help you get more time. Even that's a little bit of time. But if you can get quality time to practice on, you will find you make significant improvement with your progress. The next challenge is hand coordination or also your left hand independence. Uh, many piano players have shared with me uh, one of the things that really frustrate them the most is the inability to let the hands do what the brains tell them to do. Sometimes we have one idea in our brains, but then the hands just would not be able to carry out those tasks. But there are certain things that we could do to improve on your hand coordination, and we will get to that. The next challenge is the difficulty in reading music. Music reading is very much like reading a book in a foreign language. If you are not fluent in the language, it's very hard for you to understand, to comprehend the, the level of the books. And same thing with music reading. If you're not able to read the music fluently, it's very hard for you to play the music fluently. My next challenge is the inability to keep a steady tempo. Now, believe it or not, many people think they are playing the music fine. You know, they can play the notes and everything sounds fine. But they may not realize the problem with the rhythm. Maybe the music is not in sync. The music is not in rhythm. The song may be in a 4-4 four, four beat, but the person is playing 3-4 or sometimes 5-4 or 6-4. Uh, but this is something that we piano players need to constantly check in ourselves to make sure we are right, we are correct with the tempo, with the rhythm, and not sometimes fast and sometimes slow. And later on, I will share with you some of the techniques that you can do to make sure you check yourself with the tempo. You can help yourself with the correct rhythm. Now, this other techniques, this other challenge is one that I find uh, very common. A lot of my students, sometimes even myself, when we practice, we practice a lot. I heard people say they practice like five hours sometimes, or even two or three hours. And yet, you may not realize, you may be practice things wrong. Now, you may be practice a certain measure wrong and you keep starting it all over again. But you know what? Um, the same problem still exists because you, every time you will start from the beginning, and over times, you know, your beginning section sounds better. But the problem where it occurs in the middle of the music, it never gets better. And some of this may have to do with your practice in effectively, incorrectly. And I want to get to that and see what are kind of the things that we can do to make sure your strategies or practice is correct. 